Okay, so here's the second fight um, I was talking about featuring a Ruby character, and it is going to be Gambit from X-Men versus Roman Torchwick from, of course, Ruby. Now, yeah, <laughs> I, this was a fight that just kind of came to me out of nowhere, because when you, think about, uh, when you think about it, this is kind of an even match, really, you know. Um, in a way, you could kind of see this happening. So, um, in any case, uh, let's get down to it. With uh, Let's talk about Gambit. Now, there's really not much else I can say about Gambit that hasn't been said already, but as we all know, great fighter, master of stealth, excellent, you know, one of the best thieves in the Marvel Universe, master with his bow staff, and of course, he has the mutant ability to charge kinetic energy into um, inanimate objects. But what he, as we, mo as we know mostly, he does it best through his cards, <laughs> through his playing cards. So, you've got that going for him. Now, Gambit, like I said, has been an X-Men member, he's been a member of the Marauders, he's been on all sides of, of the uh, hero-villain spectrum. But Gambit is also, is also very intelligent, he's very street smart, and, he, like I said, he's a master of stealth. Like, the dude has gotten the drop on Captain America. Yeah. The dude, you know, the living legend, the super soldier, he managed to get a drop on him. Um, granted, he didn't win the fight with Captain America, but still, he, <laughs> he managed to get the first, you know, to surprise him. Not only that, he's managed to surprise the likes of Wolverine, he's also managed to get the drop on other characters, and, you know, like I said, he's a master thief, and like I said, um, it's not just, you know, he's really good with a bow staff, but of course we know it's all about them cards, which, um... As we all uh, as we all know, 52 cards for him. It's 52 bombs in his pocket that he can throw with excellent dexterity. Honestly, I'm surprised we've never had a Bullseye Gambit fight in the Marvel in Marvel Comics. Seriously, why hasn't there been a fight between Gambit and Bullseye? Maybe there was in some comic, maybe in the Gambit com ongoing back in the 90s, 2000s. But I really want to. Uh, but that's one of the things I've always wanted to see: Gambit and Bullseye throw down the Marvel universe. Um. <clears throat> Maybe they fought, I don't know. Um, anyway, so, there's not much else I can say about Gambit that, you know, good old Remy LeBeau, that hasn't been said already. Now, Roman, Roman Torchwick, member of the White, of the White Fang, um, and total bastard, <laughs> he is a force of nature. Um, he's a gambler, and of course, he's an excellent hand-to-hand -hand fighter, he's also very intelligent, and, of course, his cane also doubles as a fucking gun that can blow a hole through a goddamn robot. So, yeah. Roman was kind of like the first season's big villain um, right behind uh, Cinder, along him with Neo and a few others. But, yeah, that was the thing is that... Um, is that Roman what, is an excellent hand-to-hand -hand fighter. He's very intelligent and tries to get his opponents to kind of work on, play on his game. He's always trying to get at his opponents to fight on his in his terms. You know, he'll always try to like say the the right thing to get them pissed off enough to attack him in a fight. But however, if said fight does not go in Roman's way, he kind of tries to go exit stage right. <laughs> that's uh, that's kind of Roman's tactic. Is I'll keep fighting until I'm winning, but the moment I start losing, fuck out. <laughs> so that's Roman's whole strategy. So. Um, but however, Roman has proven, even though he got swallowed whole by a Grimm, yeah, that was kind of a bitch way to go. You bo they Boba Fetted, they, they Boba Fetted Roman. Let's, let's not, and Neo. Let's, let's not, let's not beat around the bush here, people. Neo and, and Roman got Boba Fetted. <laughs> let's, let's not beat around the bush here. Um, anyway, so, but enough about that. So what would it be like if if Remy and Roman took on each other in a fight? These two are very street smart. They're both very intelligent and excellent hand-to-hand -hand fighters. And they are both also have some long-range weaponry. Um, of course, Roman has his cane, which can shoot not only like explosives, it, it can shoot a vast array of ammunition from it. And it, um, he's also, in some cases, like, like apparently in some of the not, like in some of the extended lore, he's really good with knives as well. But Remy, on the other hand, we all know what he's capable of with those playing cards and that bow staff of his. Um, so that's the big, it, you know, he was trained since he was a child as a part of the Thieves Guild and got some training from the Assassins Guild. 
Not to mention he's trained alongside Wolverine and, you know, several other uh, uh, martial artists in the X-Men comics. So both of these guys have some serious battle experience behind them. This is a really tough one because they both have some major, they both have some durability to them, but not much. Um, they can just keep fight, you know, they can just keep taking the pain and keep going. However, like I said, if the fight doesn't go in Roman's way, Roman's gonna try to run off. And I don't think Gambit's going to let him, honestly. There's no way Gambit, you know, Gambit doesn't let people get away. You know, his time in the X-Men have proven you don't let the bad guy get away. And that's, and here's the other thing, you know, as I said before, Gambit's cards aren't the only thing that he can charge his kinetic energy into. The other, th he can do it through all sorts of weaponry, even through his own bow, st bow staff, which he can just make explode. The, um, he can even grab Roman's cane, blow it up, and charge it, and blow it up. And then Roman's without a weapon, so he's like, uh, fuck, what do I do? But however, Roman, he's gonna have to get in close to do that, that's the other thing. And Roman's kind of a crack shot with that cane of his, so that's gonna be another tough one. Um, so that's the big, this is the big problem, is that Gambit's going to have to play the far, the far range, a far range fight. So, but that's why he's got 52 bombs in his, you know, up his sleeves. So, yeah, and each one can be ju just just a massacre. It's like a hand grenade, a hand grenade that he can throw, you know, just like it's the simple playing card that it is. So, oh god, this is a real this is a really tough one, guys. I honestly don't know who would win in this matchup. They're both very experienced, they're both very intelligent, and they both have, you know, these fighting styles and are excellent mar marksmen. So this is a really tough one. This is going to come down to who might make a mistake first. So you guys tell me in the comments below, who do you think would come out on top in a fight between Roman, Torchwick, and Gambit? If you think Gambit would win, ha put hashtag Gambit wins and list off the reasons why you think Gambit would win. But if you think Roman would win, put hashtag Roman wins and, last and list off the reasons why you think Roman would come out on top in this fight. Like I said, I really don't know who could, you know, beat the other in this matchup. So I'm really interested to see what you guys are going to have to say about this. But once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.